Okay, I'm Vorm Kale here. This is going to be a silent assassin, suit only run in Hitman 2. This is in Mumbai and the Chasing a Ghost mission. We're going to load out with uh, a silent weapon and the Raven suit or any of the, any of the uh, default disguises will work. Uh, a lock pick and some lethal pills. And we're going to start out in the train yard. I didn't need a uh, smokeled item for this run. If you do want a smokeled item, for whatever reason, you can hide one here in the train yard, which is just feet away from the starting location. Right there in the tires, actually. Okay, so we're going to come around here. We're going to take care of Maelstrom first. Normally, you have to identify him before you kill him, but the interesting thing is if you just poison his wine up here, you don't have to identify him. He'll drink his wine and he'll be killed before he's even identified. So we're going to lower the ladder here and climb up. You'd think there'd be a challenge for killing him before you identify him, but apparently not. And the wine glass is nearest 47 right now, not that one, but this one right here is the one you want to poison. Otherwise you're going to kill his girlfriend, which wouldn't be cool. So we're gonna do that and hike up to the third floor here. I know we're supposed to raise the flag. We're gonna need this brick here, so I'm gonna grab it. And we're just gonna shoot the button, the flagpole. And it'll cause the flag to be raised. And we're gonna get out of there before we get spotted. It's me. You there? You got a troublemaker to deal with. So we're gonna go back out the way we came again, being careful not to be spotted. Forty-seven. Someone's coming up the stairs leading to the secure area. It looks like a man. See if you can get close to him. So he will come upstairs, talk with his girlfriend, and they will come out and have that wine, and he will die. And even though we haven't identified him, it still works. The next thing we're going to do is going to come in here and grab this crowbar and create a distraction, make sure we're not seen when we do it. And we're going to toss the brick that we have when that guy leaves into the furnace. And when we do this, it causes the smoke to change color from the outside, from gray to purple. And that's a sign that the uh, a meeting needs to occur between Shaw and Rankin. Well, that caused a pillar of purple smoke to rise above the slums. Let's see what happens next, 47. So we wait on them to come. That Shaw and Rangan are boat you see in the top of the screen the there. The beach area near the slums. We're gonna drop it on them when they meet right here. Our intel suggests the Maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city slums. I've marked the headquarters of the Crow on your map. Dana's a little bit of behind the curve. We've already taken care of things up there. So. So I'm going to wait for these soldiers to have their back to me and go up here and go all the way to the top of that platform there. Which makes this nice sniper platform if you're doing that, but that's not the purpose for a run here. And we're just going to come down here and wait for them, that meeting to occur. When it does happen, we're going to shoot that support for that boat there that we saw coming in, and we're going to drop it on their heads and kill both of them at the same time. That actually tra challenges a, uh, triggers rather, a challenge called In Cahoots, in addition to the various challenges that you get for a silent assassin suit only run. So while we're waiting, uh, the Maelstrom will get killed, as you can see there. 47. That man you just eliminated. That was the Maelstrom. Well done. It'll take another minute no or so. No wicked, however. On to the next one. For the, the two of them to show up. So I'm going to jump the video here and just cut out the waiting period, which is a little over a minute. You can see Rannigan coming that way. And the, the, you saw the video jump where I cut out the waiting period. But if you wait long enough, the two of them will show up. You can see them in the mini-map. They'll be right together and using instinct. And nobody else will be in under the boat, so we're going to shoot that and... Finish them off. This will throw everybody into a panic, so I'm going to wait for them to calm down, which will take another minute or two. The 
of give them just a little bit of time, they will decide that nothing fishy is going on, and I can. I have arrived at the location, and it looks clear. Over. I can walk out the exact same way I came in. See, they're kind of calling everything off and getting back to normal. I went ahead and saved here just in case I needed it, but I went up not, not needing to save. I was just worried about being spotted and to do all that crap over again. You did get one save, and you might as well use it. There's no harm in doing that. Almost got spotted by this guy, but just came back here and let him calm down. And when his back's turned. We can just go out. So we can squeeze out behind him just like we did when we came in. At this point you can stand up and start running. Now that you're not trespassing. You can see in the distance over there the boat. Just gonna run over there and take the boat and complete the mission. And that'll do it. This will trigger the uh, Silent Assassin. It's only got uh, challenges rather for professional and casual difficulties as well as master. Since I hadn't attempted them before along with a handful of other challenges, including the In Cahoots challenge. There's the In Cahoots challenge right there. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Otherwise, happy hitting and happy hunting. KM4MKL.